and under the authority given and provided by the province of British Columbia. The state of matrimony, as understood by us, is a state ennobled and enriched by a long, honorable tradition of devotion, set on the basis of the law of the land, assuring each participant an equality before the law, and supporting the common rights of each party to the marriage. There is assumed to be a desire for lifelong companionship and a generous sharing of the help and comfort that a couple ought to have from each other through whatever circumstances of sickness or health, joy or sorrow, prosperity or adversity the lives of these parties may experience. Marriage is therefore not to be entered upon thoughtlessly or irresponsibly, but with a due and serious understanding and appreciation of the ends for which it is undertaken, and of the material, intellectual, and emotional factors which will govern its fulfillment. It is by its nature a state of giving rather than taking, of offering rather than receiving, for marriage requires the giving of one's self to support the marriage and the home in which it may flourish. It is into this high and serious state that these two persons desire to unite. Therefore I charge and require of both of you, in the presence of these witnesses, that if either of you know of any legal impediment to this marriage, you do now reveal the same. So John, please repeat after me. I solemnly declare. I solemnly declare that I do not know. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. Of the of any any lawful, lawful impediment. Why I, John Oliver Smith. Why I, John Oliver Smith. May not be joined in matrimony to Patty Don Federal. May not be joined in matrimony to Patty Don Federal. And Patty, repeat after me. I solemnly declare. I solemnly declare that I do not know that I do not know of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I Patty Don Federal why I Patty Don Federal may not be joined in matrimony to John Oliver Smith may not be joined in matrimony to John Oliver Smith there having been no reason given why this couple may not be married I ask that you give answer to these questions John, do you undertake to afford to Patty the love of your person, the comfort of your companionship, and the patience of your understanding, and to share equally of the necessities of life as they may be earned or enjoyed by you, to respect the dignity of her person, her own inalienable personal rights, and the right to recognize, and to recognize the right of counsel and consultation upon all matters relating to the present or the future of the household established by this marriage? I do. And Patty, do you undertake to afford to John the love of your person, the comfort of your companionship, and the patience of your understanding, and to share equally of the necessities of life as they may be earned or enjoyed by you, to respect the dignity of his person his own inalienable personal rights, and to recognize the right of counsel and consultation upon all matters relating to the present or the future of the household established by this marriage? I do. Now we'll have the rings. Patty, place the ring on the third finger of John's hand and repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring. I promise and give to you I promise and give to you the truth and faithfulness the truth and faithfulness of my life in marriage of li my life in marriage and John please reply in receiving this ring in receiving this ring I promise to give to you I promise to give to you the truth and faithfulness the truth and faithfulness of my life in marriage of my life in marriage And now, John, take the ring and place it on the third finger of Patty's left hand and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, as the token and pledge, 
as the token and pledge of the vow and covenant of my word of the vow and covenant of my word I call upon those persons present I call upon those persons present to witness that I John to witness that I John do take thee Patty do take thee Patty to be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife Patty repeat after me in receiving this ring in receiving this ring being the token and pledge being the token and pledge of the covenant of your word of the covenant of your word I call upon those persons present I call upon those persons present to witness that I Patty to witness that I Patty do take thee John to be my lawful wedded husband do take thee John to be my lawful wedded husband Oh, you're already holding hands. That's good, because that's what I was going to have to tell you next. <laughs> We've been doing that since we came in. I know. It's been very sweet. For those of you, you, you that can't see, it's lovely. John, repeat after me. I call on those present to witness. I call on those present to witness. That I, John Oliver Smith. That I, John Oliver Smith. Take Patty Don Fedro. Take Patty Don Fedro. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In whatever circumstances. In whatever circumstances. Or experience life may hold for us. Or experience life may hold for us. And Patty, repeat after me. I call on those present to witness. I call on those present to witness. That I, <clears throat> Patty Don Fedro. That I, Patty Don Fedro. Take John Oliver Smith. Take John Oliver Smith. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In whatever circumstances or experience. In whatever circumstances or experience. Life may hold for us. Life may hold for us. And now, for as much as you, John, and you, Patty, have consented to legal wedlock and have declared your solemn intention in this company before these witnesses and in my presence and you've exchanged these rings as the pledge of your vows to each other now upon the authority vested in me by the province of British Columbia I now pronounce you duly married <laughs> May you enjoy length of days, fulfillment of hopes, and peace and contentment of mind as you day by day live and fulfill the terms of this covenant you have made with one another. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Bravo! Whoa. <laughs> For all you listeners out there that couldn't see that. <laughs> wow, that was a good one. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, Congratulations. So, so now what do we do? Now we sign papers. Okay. Okay, so we'll put some music on. So put some yes. music on and sign the papers. Sign papers. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what I picked for the first song. Well. I, I think it could be Billy Idol. Oh, I right think That on. sounds like a good song. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> 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 Yee-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> 